Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install VirtualBox on your Windows operating system. Using VirtualBox, you can install various different operating systems on your host operating system. So let's say I have Windows 11 as my host operating system. And if I have VirtualBox installed on my Windows operating system, I will be able to install any operating system. For example, any Linux operating system, let's say I want to install Ubuntu, I can install Ubuntu virtually using VirtualBox on my Windows operating system. So let's see how we can install VirtualBox. For that, just open your favorite browser and search for VirtualBox. And the first link which will appear here will be from virtualbox.org. So we are going to click on this link. So once you click on this virtualbox.org website, you will be redirected to this web page. And straight away, you can see the download button here. At the time of making this video, 7.1 is the latest version. So just click on this download button here, which is going to start the download of this virtualbox exe file. So you just need to click on this download button, and then you can see in this section which is under virtualbox platform packages you can see the windows hosts here so just click on the windows host button and then you can uh, save this uh, virtualbox file anywhere on your pc i'm going to select the downloads uh, folder here and then i'm going to click on the save button which is going to start the download of this virtualbox.exe file so once this file is downloaded i'm going to click on this file and then it's going to show me this kind of message which says do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device i'm going to click on yes here and let me minimize my browser which is going to start the setup window so this is the setup window for virtualbox here we are going to click on the next button and then this is the end user license agreement window so we are going to Click on the I accept uh, radio button and then click on next here. At this uh, custom setup window, we are going to leave everything as default. This is the location where VirtualBox will be installed on your system. So if you don't have the good reason to change this location, just leave it as default and then click on next and then click on yes here. And once again, click on yes here. And then in this custom setup window, you can see VirtualBox is going to create a shortcut menu entry, the shortcut on your desktop, create a shortcut in quick launch bar, and also it's going to register the file associations. So everything looks good to me. I'm going to click on next and then click on install, which is going to start the installation of VirtualBox. So at this point, you just need to wait for a few seconds until this process reaches to the 100% mark. And in a few seconds, you can see VirtualBox setup has been finished. And you can also see uh, this checkbox which says start Oracle VirtualBox after the installation. So just leave it as checked and click on finish, which is going to launch VirtualBox on your Windows operating system. You can also see the VirtualBox icon on your desktop. So from the next time, you will be able to open VirtualBox using this icon. So you can see the VirtualBox interface here. So in order to create a new virtual machine, you need to have the ISO file for that operating system. So if you want to install Ubuntu, let's say, you need to go to the Ubuntu website and download the ISO file from the official website. And once you have the ISO file, you can come to VirtualBox and then click on this new button. And then you can give the name of your um, operating system, for example, Ubuntu in my case, and then you can move forward uh, with these installation steps. And then you will be able to install that virtual machine on your host operating system using VirtualBox. So this is how you can install VirtualBox on your Windows operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.